Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Live. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. In today's video, guys, we'll be working here on a Dodge Journey, which is the same as Fiat Fremont, guys. And uh, what we'll show you guys, if you have a Dodge Journey or Fiat Fremont, and you're trying, guys, to uh, see how to test your seat belt buckles, okay, or occupant sensor mat, okay, the one that detects if there is a person in the seat, or you want to test your seat belt buckles if you have a light on or you always have that dinging uh, uh, seat belt light on. We'll show you guys how to how to test that now. Let me tell you guys we'll have more than 200 videos on every Dodge Chrysler uh, Jeep, any vehicle that we had at the shop. So on this journey, including this car guys, we have more than 200 videos. So please subscribe. Our mission is to save you as much money guys as we can. So we'll turn the ignition on. Okay, turn the ignition on, do not start the car. You see it says run, do not press the brake paddle, lights on, engine off. We'll be using here Maxicom guys, you can find this too, listed in the description of the video below for your convenience. So, this is amazing, amazing scanner that works not just on Dodge vehicles, okay, that thing works on any make and model. And it can pay itself off in one time use, it's very inexpensive in my opinion. I'll click VIN number how to detect and it's going to analyze, decode the VIN number and tells us exactly which vehicle we have so we don't have to manually select it. Why not take advantage of the system and let the, let the system do the work for us, right? So this is the correct vehicle, now it's establishing communication, it's going to take a couple of seconds, we are ready to go. Diagnosis, control unit. Airbag is usually under body guys, so seat belts, occupant sensor, they will be under airbag. Now, <coughs> right here we can click live data and you can check pretty much your whole airbag system, you can see live data and all that stuff, okay, it's amazing. And if we go down, okay, check out now what we have right here, passenger seat belt switch, this is your seat belt buckle, it says fastened, not fastened now, check it, check it out. Not fastened. So let's install the belt and see what what's happening. It changes to fastened. Okay. Now not fastened. Let's go again. Fastened. So that guy's definitely, definitely uh, works. Now I'm going to try mine. Okay. You can see the other one is the driver belt here. Okay. So let's see what will happen when I click click it in. Listen now. Fastened. Okay. If I unbuckle. Unfastened. Buckle. Fastened. So that guy definitely works. Okay, both of them work. Now <coughs> the occupant detection status, okay, it's right here. You can see it's occupied because we have a heavy adult sitting in the seat. Now if we get up, see what's going to happen, it says unoccupied. Let's sit down. Okay, it takes a little bit of time, it says occupied. Now let's go back up. Okay unoccupied. So that definitely works guys as well. That's how you test the occupant sensor and the seatbelt buckles. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to the channel for more videos and see you guys next time.